Today, our learning intention is the introduction to the wave function. The National 5 Essential Skills are Solving Trig Equations. A wave function is a combination of sine and cos functions that can be expressed as a single trig function, allowing us to solve problems such as drawing wave functions and finding the maximum and minimum values of these. An expression of the form p cos x plus q sin x can be written in the form k cos of x minus a, where we can find k by taking the square root of p squared plus q squared, and we can find the missing angle a by using tan a equal to k sin a over k cos a. Example 1. Write 4 cos x plus 3 sin x in the form k cos of x minus a, where a lies between 0 and 360 degrees. We first of all need to expand our k cos of x minus a using our compound angle formula, which expands to give k cos x cos a plus Note the change of sine, k sin x sin a. Step two, we will rearrange in order to compare our coefficients with p cos x and q sin x. So we'll swap around the k cos x and cos a and we'll swap around the sin x and sin a. Writing 4 cos x plus 3 sin x underneath, we can clearly see the coefficient of cos x, k cos a, is equal to 4. The coefficient of sin x, k sin a, is equal to 3. Step 3. Clearly state the values of k cos a and k sin a. So k cos a is 4 and k sin a is 3. We're going to use this information in step 4 to mark the quadrants on a cast diagram according to um, the values of k cos a and k sin a. So drawing our cast diagram out, we can see that k cos a is equal to positive 4, therefore cos is positive in A and C. And then we can see that k sin A is equal to positive 3. Therefore, we will be ticking S and A. Where we have two ticks, this is where our angle A lies, and that will be in the first quadrant. In order to work out our angle A, we need to use the rule tan a equals k sin a over k cos a. It's extremely important that we remember to put k in front of the sin a and cos a because if we miss this you will lose a mark in the exam. Therefore tan a equals 3 over 4 and if we take the inverse tan of 3 over 4 you get an answer of 36.9 degrees to one decimal place. So that is the size of our angle A that will go inside our bracket. We still have to calculate K and using the formula in the first page of your notes, K is equal to the square root of four squared plus three squared. So I'm taking the values of k cos a and k sin a and putting them under a square root and squaring them. 4 squared plus 3 squared is 16 plus 9, which gives me 25. And the square root of 25, please remember to simplify fully, you'll get an answer of k equals to 5. The very last step is to state our p cos x plus q sin x in the form we were asked for. Therefore, 4 cos x plus 3 sin x is equal to 5 cos of x minus 36.9 degrees. Example 2. Write cos x minus sin x in the form k 
k cos of x minus a, where again a lies between 0 and 360 degrees. First thing we have to do is use our compound angle formula and we will expand k cos of x minus a. And also remember that this will be given in your formula sheet in your exam. So please copy it carefully. Next, we need to make sure we rearrange so we can clearly see the coefficient of cos x and sin x. So we get k cos a cos x plus k sin a sin x. Writing our two um, functions underneath, we've got cos x take away sin x. So comparing our coefficients, k cos a is equal to, remember there is a 1 in front of cos x there, and k sin a is equal to, this time, negative 1, because we have a negative in front of our 1 sin x. Clearly stating the values of k cos a and k sin a, k cos a is 1 and k sin a is equal to negative 1. We're going to use this information to now help us um, identify which quadrant our angle lies in using our cast diagram. So this time cos a is equal to a positive number, so we're going to look for a tick a and a. C and sine A is equal to a negative value, therefore sine is negative in T and C. So in this case, where there's two ticks, we're looking for an angle lying in the fourth quadrant. Again, we write out our rule to find that angle, tan A equals k sine A over k cos A. Tan A equals negative 1 over 1. Now remember, we're not going to use the negative in front of the one that was only to identify where an angle lies, but we can actually use, it's 45 degrees, if we do inverse tan of 1, will give us an angle of 45 degrees. However, we need to take this angle away from 360 because the angle lies in the fourth quadrant. So angle A is 360, take away 45, and the answer is 315 degrees. Step five, we need to find K using the formulae in the first page of your notes again. So K is equal to the square root of one squared, add on negative one squared, so K is the square root of two. And the final step is to make sure we write cos x minus sine x in the form k cos of x minus a. So cos x minus sine x equals root 2 cos of x minus 315 degrees. Example 3. This time we have to write cos x plus sine x in the form k cos of x minus a again. However, angle a lies between 0 and 2 pi. Therefore, this time we're going to be working with radians. Same um, start for this question. We use our compound angle formula and we expand k cos of x minus a. And again, we rearrange so we can do an easy comparison of our coefficients. So we switch around our cos x and cos a, our sin x and our sin a. Writing cos x plus sin x underneath, we can clearly see here that k cos a is equal to 1 and k sin a is also equal to 1. Stating these values, k cos a is 1 and k sin a is also 1. Drawing our cast diagram this time um, with involving radians, I'm first of all going to tick the quadrants where cos is positive, which is a and c. And then we're going to tick the quadrants where sine is also positive, which will be S and A. So again, the angle A lies in the first quadrant as we have two ticks here. To find the angle, we use the rule tan A equals K sine A over K cos A. So tan A equal to 1 over 1. Now, this is an exact value, so you'll be encouraged here to draw out your exact value triangle. 
And we're really looking for the angle that gives opposite and adjacent as 1 over 1. Here we can clearly see the angle is 45 degrees, or in radians, that would be pi over 4. So angle A is pi over 4. Finally, we need to find the value of k. So it would be the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared. And again, k will be root 2. Last step is to make sure we write cos x plus sin x in the form k cos of x minus a. So cos x plus sin x equals root 2 cos of x minus pi over 4. Now try um, some examples for yourself. Please pause the video. And the answers are for a 5 cos x plus 12 sin x equals 13 cos of x minus 1.18. You would have had to have changed your calculator to radians to calculate the angle here. And for b 5 cos x minus 3 sin x equals root 34 cos of x minus 329 degrees. If you'd like some extra practice on this, turn to page 313 of your textbook, exercise 16c and 16d. So what have we learned today? To basically put um, a function into wave function form, we need to first of all expand k cos of x minus a. We need to then rearrange it so we can compare coefficients. We then state the values of k cos a and k sin a. We ensure we draw a cast diagram to obtain where the angle lies. We find the angle of a and we also find the value of k. And we finally state p cos x plus q sin x in the form k cos of x minus a using these values. <laughs>